Coach McGill trying for your third straight conference championship in tennis. Uh, how do you feel about the chances? We'll have a good chance, uh, but I think it'll be a five-horse race, Jim. Uh, Florida is generally picked to win the championship this year. They brought in two exceptionally good new men. But uh, we'll, we have five boys back from our championship team of last year, and I think we'll, we'll have a good chance, although Tennessee, Mississippi State, and uh, Alabama are just as strong as we are on paper, and it should be a five-horse race. So your first opponent, Mississippi State, uh, be a pretty important match, won't it? It certainly will. We play them, open up uh, in Athens on March 8th against Mississippi State. They've had a great record in tennis for uh, around 15 years now, and mostly a, a foreign lineup. Their number one player is Jim Boyce. He's a senior from Canada, and all their boys are foreigners. About your number one player, who are your, some of your mainstays this year, Coach? Our number one player probably will be Manuel Diaz. He's a very talented sophomore from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Played number six last year and won the conference number six singles. We haven't finished the final challenge matches, and there's a possibility uh, that Gordon Smith, another sophomore from Rome, Georgia, or Captain Bob Tennis, senior from Wayne, New Jersey, any of those three, I believe, could be our number one player. And then we have uh, uh, Brent Hughes, a sophomore from Newport News, Virginia, Kerry Browder, a junior from Sweetwater, Tennessee. David Dick, a uh, freshman, the, uh, the Southern High School champion from Baylor and Chattanooga. And Bill Kopecky, uh, a junior from St. Petersburg, Florida. And Jack Sisley, a senior from uh, Rome, Georgia. Those are eight good boys. 